What up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Santa Crazy Man Vera. Going live, going live, going live. Oh, there it is. Bum, bum. Bum. There it is. Yeah, I just want to check and make sure. All right, cool. Cool in the game. All right. Hit that trailer. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining us. I want to tell you about Duty. Duty is this larger than life character. His father happens to be the Emperor of Uranus, and his guardian is the general of Uranus's army. Imagine growing up as a kid with the burden of having to live up to those standards. So this is why he's on this journey to Earth. He takes on this mission that's way over his head, but he won't admit defeat, right? He compensates with his bravado and his intellect. So he crash lands on Earth, and now he has to survive Earth's simple creatures, eventually getting into a house where there's a father and son and a dog named Herman, a chihuahua, who believes that duty is a talking jalapeno. That's where the real adventure begins. So I hope that you're able to pledge today and embark on this amazing journey. You're gonna love it, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna have fun, and the family will all embrace duty. I hope that you do too. What's up, y'all? This is your boy. I'm not sure if anyone's going to be around, but I'm just going to be chilling, drawing. Um, so I thought I'd get a head start and work on a variant cover for... There's an alien in my toilet issue, too. Hold on. I think I need some mood music here. J.D. Rosario, thank you for subscribing, my man. I think it was Daydream, I think. we. Yeah, we're going to do some Daydream. Bring it down a little bit. There you go. Boom. They looped that. Okay. So basically, we're down to the last four days. There's Ely in my toilet. And, um, you know, it's been a roller coaster of a ride. And uh, it's only four days left. So I uh, hope that you join me and pledge and get yourself a copy. There's so much to offer. So. I'm doing, so for the second campaign, there's only going to be two covers. There's going to be the main cover and a variant cover. And I liked, I liked the um, Gunslinger Spawn so much. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Uh, Cody. <laughs> what's up? Not a problem. What's up, Cody? Um, I like the Gunslinger Spawn image so much, the cover. That I want to recreate that with duty. And um, basically, in issue two, it's called I See Red People. And where he gets, he does battle with a lot of red ants. So if you've seen the cover to Gunslinger Spawn, number two, um, you'll, uh, uh, well, I think it was, it's not number two, Gunslinger Spawn is by Brett Booth. It was issue number six. It's got the clown with duty hanging from his mouth. I mean, uh, with uh, duty <laughs> with spawn. He's about to drop spawn into his mouth, and he's being attacked by a lot of little clowns. So I thought it'd be great with uh, the ant um, to uh, come up with a look. So basically, on this screen, I'm going to have. In fact, I got to drop a white because you might not be able to see the screen. So I'm gonna drop that white. I'm gonna add another layer. All right, go back to my pencils. Okay, so at least you'll be able to see when I start sketching. Um, let's see. Let me just. So, you know, ants have a specific look, right? So, what I want is, um, and I'm just gonna play real quick. So, you know. A typical ant, you know, it's like almost like an egg, almost like a shell shape, right? Let me see it. You can see it, right? And you'll see like a big, big eye right here. And they'll have the, their little tentacles, right? So you get the gist of it. And they have that unique looking body, right? Let me, let me scale this a little bit. Bang. Go back here. And they have that, you know, that unique body where they have those, um, like, lumps. And then they have, like, almost like cylinder shapes, right? 
and then you go boom whatever so you get the gist so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create that ant into a monster so i'm going to get rid of that right so what i want is um with gunslinger i gotta try to give the ant the look so here is where the 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 ant's face is going to be right right at the bottom so if i want to have the ant's eyes here and i might have it like a mean looking a mean mug right i need to be able to have almost like the ant's mouth here and get this over here. And again, right now I'm just determining what that ant would look like um, as he's gonna swallow duty, right? And do I give the ant some teeth? I mean, do ants have teeth? But I'm gonna just add the teeth here. And right now I'm just playing um, uh, as I figure out placement, right? So this is, I'm drawing an 11 by 17 right here. And um, I wonder, oh, it's because I could have been Facebook. Okay. Let me see something. Was up, uh, y'all. All right, let's see if that came up. There you go, bang. All right, cool. But yeah, it doesn't show up here. How come I'm not seeing any? Oh, there it is. Stay still. Okay. So, duty has to be hanging from here. So, the ant's hands have to be somewhere here. So, if I position the hands, you know, ant, I got to figure out what that ant hand's going to look like. So, if that ant's hand there, duty has to be somewhere here. So, if I put duty's duty right here, and if I do duty, and then, you know, duty has a belly. I put them there, right? And then I gotta, and then duty has a little, you know, a little derriere, you know, give that little curvaceousness. Um, you know, it's not a very masculine body <laughs> for duty, you know. So, um, and so when gunslinger spawn, he's blasting. We're not gonna do that because you know, we just can't do that because there's no all ages. So I'm trying to make it fun at the same time. Um, uh, so that's the, let's see, what would I, I'll, I'll do this. I'll put his hands here. Maybe like that, no, yeah. Boom. And if I put his shoulders here, and then boom, right? And then get this going here, right? And then again, now what I'm looking at is the his body's a little uh, too elongated, so we're gonna, we're gonna fix this here. And again, it's just about having fun. Yeah, so today, unfortunately, I lost a backer. So far, doing this campaign, I think he's the second backer in two weeks. Um, I lost one on the first week of the campaign, and then another one now, which sucks. You know, and I'm not the one to contact them and say, hey, you know, um, it is what it is. People change their minds all the time. Well, that sucks. So... I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we've got a couple of days left. Um, I got a couple of other Kickstarter campaigns with other indie comic creators that are we're cross promoting each other. So hopefully I drive traffic to them. They drive traffic to duty um, and we can make back those losses. Um, maybe if I do this, got that belly in here, I think.
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put his hands stuck because he has his hands. Right? Boom. And I think so he's like, hell, you're not gonna eat me. Stay away from my tuchus. So I didn't realize that, uh, I wonder if I'm. So I didn't realize. Oh yeah, you can. So you can hear me over, you know, StreamYard's legit. StreamYard comes equipped with mood music and everything. So I don't have to worry about, um, and then, yeah, anyway, it comes like, so hope you guys like the mood music. I hate like drawing by myself and there's no music, at least to keep me occupied. So this actually is pretty cool. All right, so there's there. We'll do this. You know, the. My wife is out with some girlfriends, and they're at a um, a child, a book reading at a. It's like a jazz club, but it's a book reading, where they have a um, children's book illustrator that goes in and reads the book that they illustrated that's been published. So that's pretty cool, and she's gonna go out there, and, and when she's there too, she's they're gonna she's gonna promote the campaign. So hopefully, um, we we'll get something from that as well. You gotta hustle. You gotta get the word out. All right. So an ant, ant has like little weird fingers, but I gotta again, this is comic book, so I have to go and um, come up with look. And then the ant has that. Yeah, that's right. Ant has that. Um, that uh so I gotta I gotta ad lib here. So an ad has like a that like a almost like this curve thing there. So I gotta make sure I put that there. Right there it is. <laughs> yo, yo, you yo, Ray Felix, you gotta stop acting up. You got to stop acting up, my brother. Um, actually, we're down to the last four days. Um, you know, I didn't do a month. I did 21 days. So um, I just couldn't do a month because a month is too long um, for me anyways. So, uh, and Annette has skinny arms. So the arm's going to come from here. He's going to have... I gotta somehow do like um, the ant's gonna have them in claws. How you been holding up, brother? And, and thanks for supporting the campaign as well, bro. M appreciate you. Um, when's the next Ray Comic Con? So now what I want to do is, you know, ants, who knows with code? Yeah, I know. I know. I applied for Fan Expo in Dallas. It's a big event. It has like 67 to 80,000 people. But I've been waiting for like six weeks to, uh, and I still haven't got found out if I got accepted, which is crazy. Actually, no, I don't want that one. Yeah, I hear you. It's tough. I mean, there's uh, several people. Um, uh, canceled their shows. I know. Um, I forgot the guy's name. We had him on our show. He did the uh, um, 
the show in uh, Jersey. He I think he canceled his. He can you know, uh, it's it's uh, tough. And I'm just placing where I'm going to want the positioning for everything. And then I'll start fleshing it out. But I think I'm going to put this like. Ready to get the spammers, huh? We don't buy followers here. Oh, I flesh out pretty fast. Like I sketch out, like I'm, you know, the where I want the placements pretty quickly. But um, when I start adding the details, it takes a lot longer. But uh, I'm trying to come up with like where I want all of. Um, Uh, the the heads like uh, if he's gonna be here I want like trying to grab him um Yeah, I like. I really like the uh, the Gunslinger Spawn cover. So this is my little uh, my little uh, attempt at creating that same look for Duty, um, with the ants coming after him. In fact, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna put one hanging on his foot, trying to get him from the bottom. Turn it up a little bit so that way it's um yeah yeah it's like he's, he's trying to pull him down get him into that mouth um Yo, can you hang a banner outside your window and says, all ages comic books on Kickstarter right now? <laughs> yeah, so how many more do I want? How many more ants do I want in the scene? So in the gunslinger spawn, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far I got four. I'll add another one coming from up here. So there's like a bunch of them, a squad. Yeah. Boom. The cross, you got a kid friendly book? Or are you talking like just a crossover, with like, like a forbidden crossover? Cause you're you're kind of like you're borderline cancel culture. <laughs> it's like it's like you, you live like you live on the edge. You're like uh, what's his name? Um, Young Guns, uh, Billy the Kid. Oh, 
Oh, is that the Emilio Estevez's brother? What was his name? <laughs> you take us to controversial topics. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Dude, he's canceled before he even started. Hey, Sam, whatever happened to uh, this name in my toilet? Two words. Ray Felix. <laughs> I could pull it up so you can actually see what I'm, what I'm trying to recreate. Let's see if it's here. There it is. Boom. All right. I'm going to add this to the page so you guys can see what I'm trying to recreate here. So this is the... Let me get this back again. So basically, this is what I'm... Um, the inspiration for the cover that I'm doing right now. So the difference is... You know, it's duty. It's red ants. It's a giant red ant that he's about to drop into his mouth. Um, and that's basically, you know, the look. I fell in love with that cover and, and I, immediately I thought of issue number two. And I was like, oh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. That would, I, you know, that would make sense. Um, So, so well, you know, and a good thing about comics is that while um, I'm going to thicken, I'm going to make this head a little thicker. There you go. I want to start just adding detail work. So I can actually see what I want to do. Um, let's get this down here. Okay. So I went there. Yeah, cut the eye real quick. So I know. I eat though. <laughs> I eat the woke for breakfast. <laughs> You're hilarious. I stay away from the woke. Shit. I say I don't need I don't need the stress in my life. Like hell no. I'll give like baby teeth. Right. Right. Focus on whatever this is here. Those little snappers. Because this is going to be a solid stuff. So I just. Go here real quick. That's just gonna be a solid eyeball. even have yeah he has like a all right get that little skinny tongue around his legs his foot oh yeah I don't like that curve
Oh, so he's got that around his leg. Boom, there it is. Get that leg in there. Yeah, let's erase some of this. Clean this area up real quick. Are you doing any conventions this year, buddy? Anyone's local? Any of the Long Island shows? Just so I can see some of this stuff. Oh, nice. I hope that was it was a good one for you. Yeah, the ant has the tentacles, so I'm going to put the tentacles there, see? I'll fix that later. Oh, yeah. Right. So what I'll do is, all right, I got that. Let's get this guy fleshed out. Nice, nice. Yeah, I missed a lot of the local shows here. They sell out fast, you know, and I got, I just moved here and then I started looking at the cons and every single one was sold out, sold out, sold out. I was like, damn, these small shows are quick. So um, I think the first show for me will probably be in June. have those little scaly things at the end well wow. whatever yeah yeah everybody jacked up prices even printing costs are more expensive. It's like, shh, you need six jobs today now.
you know what's what's great is that since I started doing um, Disney in my toilet again, I've been drawing more, and it feels good to do it. I was actually gonna draw this on an 11 by 17 and frame the original, but then I was like, you know what? I wanted to record drawing this and it just takes too much time to set up the cameras on a draft table. And I was like, forget it, forget it. I give. Yeah, even the gas prices now because of what's happening you know, across the world, um, the gas price is out of control. I mean, we already had the price hikes with the with the with the shutdown and people not going to work and you know the the docks being you know not being able to get the supplies and not enough people in warehouses and distribution. Yeah, it just gets worse and worse every time. Oh yeah, coming after duty. So now duty, he's a surprised look in his eyes. Like, oh no. His hair is going up. I got that mouth going. Got him going. You can sit down. You can sit down. It's okay. Relax. My dog got startled when I said, Hell, babe. <laughs> she said, What? Is there beef? Is there beef? I said, Now we're okay. It's okay. I just sent some books to the printer and they're twice the price as it used to be just a, a six months ago. Yeah. Not only that, it's twice the price and twice as long to get it back from them. It is cray cray. You know, normally I used to have like a two, three week turnaround. Now it's like a four to six week turnaround. Yeah, I'm wondering how long it's going to take when I send these books out to get printed. I mean, even if, even if they took them four weeks, because I'm sending it out. This campaign closes on the 8th. That means on the 23rd, uh, I'll get the payment from Kickstarter. Which means on the 23rd is when I will order the books. So even if it's four weeks, everyone should be getting it in April.
Oh, where's my thing? Hold on one second. Where's my brand? Oh, there it is. Bam. Alleged today. Okay. So you got. Yeah, it is crazy. You got one, two ants. All right. So some, I gotta get this ant here. Have you watched uh, Penny's Worth? Has anybody watched Penny's Worth on uh, HBO? It is crazy. Scroll up. There it is. Bomb. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so now I gotta get this. See, I don't know. See, it would be clip. Yeah, be like a clip. I'm trying to figure out how. Yo, Pennyworth is no joke. It's uh, Alfred Pennyworth, um, Batman's butler, and how he met his father, and his father's story. It is crazy, boy. It's like legit. Probably the best thing that DC has done so far, man. It's awesome. Well, I haven't seen the new Batman. Everyone's raving about it right now. But um, this is a great series. Maybe make it like a claw. I haven't seen that. Is that on the, uh, HBO as well? I'll make it like a claw. Erase that part. some sort of like I'll change that thumb down there oh, I just raised a race I just gotta reach with that arm again right, let's get this out of there don't start your nonsense see this is the reason why I bring my my dogs into my office when I'm drawing because my I have an older one who gets restless and then he starts annoying the heck out of me trying to um I do it like this. There you go, like a claw. I'll do that one like a claw too. Boom. There it is, like a claw. And the other one looked like a hand, and we're like, yo, ants don't have hands. No, it's a comic. Stop backing up. Oh. 
There it is. Boom. That's better. So his arm is in the claw. So I gotta change this to this. Yeah, yeah. Change the angle of his arm. Boom. All right, so I got one, two, three, four ants. And then, oh, I'll do it when I hear where he's. Uh, if I do a body here. With a head here. The eyes are there. Just like that, and do like this arm underneath, and this arm underneath. But this arm trying to reach him, getting at him. There you go. That's what I'll do. And he's upside down. Yo, chill, dart. There you go. Boom. So he's upside down. And he's like, yo, get over here. No, I haven't seen it yet. See, I don't, I never go opening week. I wait a week, days down. Then I go like on a Monday morning when everybody goes back to work where I can have the theater to myself. So that's what I'm going to do. I wait a week and then go in the morning and get a matinee. Second half of all free reign. I don't have to worry about someone coughing on the back of my neck. The next you know, I got gremlins growing on my hair. Yo, shh, shh. sit down. Cut it out. Okay. Silence. Oh, nice. Gotta get that popcorn, get the bucket of popcorn. I can't go to the theater, it's it's a sickness I have. I have to have a big bucket of popcorn, a big uh, gulp of iced tea, unsweetened preferably. If not, I'll get the lemonade and, uh, but, uh, can't go to the theaters without it. And I won't even start eating the popcorn until the actual movie starts. I'll be I'll be sitting there with the credits just watching the popcorn and waiting to munch. I got issues. So basically if anybody oh, for all the anybody watching on um, the other channels this is a variant cover to there's an alien in my toilet issue number two. I see red people where he does battle with ants, red ants. And it's an homage to this cover, really. I loved this cover for Gunslinger Spawn. And I said, you know what? I got to do this with duty in the ants. I thought it was just beautiful. So um, let's get that out of there. Wow. So that's what that is. If everyone's wondering, what's he drawing? Um, it's a bug's life. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six ants and a giant ant. It's about to swallow duty up, trying to get them in there. And uh, the 
there is see that's what you guys are crazy it isn't scatological it isn't um the oh, the punchline is is in issue number 10 and uh diarrhea man you got issues you know it's funny so the spin-off series was going to be high on duty from uranus i actually changed the name to just duty so I had to resubmit my copyright because I have it copyrighted as high I'm duty from Uranus. I had to res resubmit another one to change it to um, duty um, because I didn't want because it's an all ages book. And I didn't want parents to be like deterred from it because, you know, everybody today is very hypersensitive about everything. Um, so I changed that uh, because of that, because um, there were just a lot of those. uh things and uh had some parents so, you know question whether or not it's safe for the kids and all that stuff i was like yes it is stop acting up read it read it um but yeah so the series the spin-off series that'll start off at the end of issue 10 is duty multiverse yes i know right <laughs> yeah Sit down, guys. I'm trying to be creative here. So I actually like the way it's coming out. Um, I wasn't sure in the beginning, but now I'm like, ah, right, cool. This is this is legit. Good choice. Dark duty. <laughs> you got you got issues. Um there's a lot of stuff. There's um Herman has a spin-off. It's a one shot. It's called Coming to America. I Chihuahua. And it's basically his story and how he um was dog nap, puppy nap from Mexico, brought over to the States in a in a puppy mill. And how he eventually escaped and how the dog nappers were after him. And uh, how he eventually got rescued and ended up in the house that he was in that uh, that duty shows up at. So, um, so there's a lot coming down the pike for the whole, the whole brand. Yeah, so I actually like it. So I have, thanks, buddy. I have like one. Wait, yeah. So there's, I think there's enough ants in this scene. Duty's there. He looks scared. Get that, uh, get that toe pointed up. Dart, cut it out, Dart. If you guys haven't seen it, check out. I was on, um, they came out today. Um, Keeping it Geekly and Two Geeks Talking. Two podcasts that were on. Um, both guys did a legit interview. Really good. I enjoyed both the shows. What book are you working on now, Ray? Which one are you working on now? A thing knockoff in duty with peanuts? <laughs> you know, it's funny. George and I did um, a segment on open domain characters. And there's so many of them. Public domain characters. There's so many of them. Um, so you're going to see like... Um, some of those characters appear in Duty's imagination when he's uh, in the dream sequence. Uh, and if you haven't seen the, um, you get an idea because I did a monster pack of Duty stickers on the campaign. Uh, you know, the F F Dracula, F 
Frankenstein, um, Cthulhu. So I'll be playing around with some of those characters, duty becoming those characters, really. It's really duty becoming those characters. And for those of you watching out there, don't know what there's near in my toilet is. I'm just gonna play a quick little trailer. So you get an idea of who duty is and here we go. Yes, folks, that is me screaming at the end of the that video. Uh, and that is the opening sequence for Disney Alien number toilet issue number one, which is currently running on Kickstarter right now. So the link is in the summary. Please go over, check it out, and pledge if you can. And um, if you're not interested in all ages books, but you want to do something nice for someone, we also have a tier for kid, comic books for kids where all the books go directly to that organization and they take it, send it to the kids in hospitals in need. So uh, you might not want it for yourself, but maybe for some kids that are in need that are um, diagnosed with cancer and battling cancer right now. Um, next in the queue is Bronx Heroes, Black and White, and Red Rage number two is going to be inked next. Nice. All right, so let's uh, let's get some stuff going here. Thanks, thanks. I'm on a new layer. My wife, uh, black triangle ship flying by my house and landing at the military base near my house. It was followed by a twin engine. Nice, nice. Did you get it on camera, bro? That would have been dope. That would have been amazing. True story. Uh, true story. This was... Probably 1990, I was uh, probably about 16 years old. I was in the Bronx. Um, the last stop on the J train, but I'm rock, I'm rock, far Rockaway. I'm not the Bronx. I mean, not the Bronx. I was in Far Rockaway. Wow. Uh, so we were fire bark away, me and my friends, and, uh, we went to the beach. So we were young and we were in like these junior Marine programs. So we would go to the beach at night and swim. So this one particular night we're sitting on, um, we're sitting on the lifeguard stand and we said, yo, let's go, let's go, in, let's go to the water. So we start going in. Boom, 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 boom. Next thing you know. It's out maybe about 20 feet away from us, further into the water. We were about 
neck deep in the ocean and it's about 11 o'clock at night and there were, it, it felt like an elephant landed in the water about 20 feet from us like just crashed like whoosh, and this big splash hit us i turn around my boys are already on the sand they they were faster than carl lewis and aquaman combined and i was still trying to run out of the water screaming i was afraid to look back we hurled we ran my boy lived in in the projects in far rockaway so we ran into his building we went all the way to the top we went into his bedroom we turned off the lights we looked out the window we looked up at the sky and it's night so it looks like stars but it looked like stars were chasing each other they were so far up in the sky and then they formed into one star then they broke off into three and they were doing all these crazy maneuvers and they just vanished man we were all scared to go outside that night. We all went to sleep <laughs> until the next day. It was the scariest thing we ever seen in my life. No, this was far rock. Oh, you saw the same thing in Harlem? Yeah, it was the early 90s, bro. It was crazy. Nice. never know i mean we got we have technology we just don't talk about it yeah several things it could be it's uh it's we're testing out the newest stuff or it was an escort for a meeting that's happening with extraterrestrials it could be one of those two just saying they could have just been e uh, escorting a diplomat from another dimension to uh, have a conversation about what we're doing to this planet it's like Yo, you guys need to stop acting up Especially when any stupid thing can happen right now, and next you know we're on a, a you, know, the, you know, the spark that triggers the next world war. Yeah, I agree.
Oh, that would be dope. I can't wait to see that. I love conspiracies. My like my wife listens to George Soros podcast. Uh, the conspiracy show. Every night. Thank you, sir. Thanks, buddy. Enjoy dinner. I actually don't like that. The line's too thick. I gotta change that. I'm not digging that book. I don't like the eye either. There. Yeah, I want it bigger. This is a clip.
If you're watching this while eating dinner, dancing, drawing, give me a thumbs up. What do you think? Is the variant cover for issue number two? There's an in my toilet on duty of the ants. So if I just take off the pencils for a second, boom. This is what you're seeing for a second. So this is the head, right? So what I'm going to do is... Sorry about that. Let's see. All right, so this is the cover that I uh, decided to do for Disney Island in my toilet, issue number two variant. Um, so there's going to be a standard cover with a big giant 
So there's one where there's a big giant red ant that's tackling wrestling with duty. And then there's going to be this one. Um, again, I'm hoping that uh, you support the campaign and uh, pledge today. Um, it's only five days left in the campaign. Four days. I'm sorry. We're down to four days left in the campaign. There's some great incentives in there. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, the goal is to get into as many people's hands as possible. Even if you just do the digital $5 plays, it'll be great. Um, uh, just want to get a lot of eyes on the book and a, and a lot of feedback. Uh, you know, I'm excited about this. I hope that you are too. You got an inside look into what's to come with the next cover. You know, um, I will be going online tomorrow again to continue working on this piece and probably throughout the whole weekend i won't be coloring this piece um i do have a colorist who is going to color the piece for me but um yeah so i hope to see you tomorrow um hopefully you pledge and hopefully this gave you an insight into the character and how hilarious it is the fact that he's a, he's doing battle with ants and the link is in this chat the link is also in the summary um again there's nailing on my toilet on kickstarter uh, I hope that you do support it. And um, thank you guys for watching. For those of you who watched it. But this will be on replay. For anybody who missed it. Um, you know. I'll leave you with my closing. And. Uh, we're going to stop that thing. Music. Stop it. Boom. And I'll play my intro. And. We'll leave you with that. This was another episode of just join Disney in my toilet with your boy, Sam the Crazy Man Vera. And uh, I'll talk to you guys. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining us. I want to tell you about Duty. Duty is this larger-than-life character. His father happens to be the Emperor of Uranus, and his guardian is the general of Uranus's army. Imagine growing up as a kid with the burden of having to live up to those standards. So this is why he's on this journey to Earth. He takes on this mission that's way over his head, but he won't admit defeat, right? He compensates with his bravado and his intellect. So he crash lands on Earth, and now he has to survive Earth's simple creatures, eventually getting into a house where there's a father and son and a dog named Kermit, a chihuahua, who believes that duty is a talking jalapeno. That's where the real adventure begins. So I hope that you're able to pledge today and embark on this amazing journey. You're going to love it. You're going to laugh. You're going to have fun. And the family will all embrace duty. I hope that you do too.